Hi, I'm Annette Rushing, owner of Custom Cakes in Savannah, Georgia, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to put fondant bands on your cakes. So here's what we need. Fondant to make our bands, something to put them on, and we're going to use just a cake board and I've sprinkled some powdered sugar on it so the fondant won't stick to it, some scissors, a palette knife, a fondant ribbon cutter, a small rolling pin, some powdered sugar, and some twine. To measure the circumference, I like to use twine, but you can use ribbon, whatever you have that's handy. And then I'm going to cut it just a little bit longer than I think I'll need it. Take my scissors, snip, And there you go, this is how long of a piece of fondant I need to go around this cake. Alright, so now we've got the fondant, and I'm just going to roll it into a log. I'm going to take my rolling pin. Roll it out really humid here today so I've got a lot of corn, um, not cornstarch but powdered sugar on my table keep it from sticking all right so I've got it all rolled out now I'm gonna take my twine and measure and yes I have enough well it's certainly long enough so I'm gonna cut here Pull the, uh, pull the twine and cut it here and that's how much how long it needs to be put this back in here so it doesn't dry out have my ribbon cutter set to the width I want and I'm going to just press down really hard and in one continuous motion cut the fondant. Now this is a wonderful tool, but it doesn't always cut clean. So I'm going to take my palette knife and just run it down. It's already cut. I just want to get a clean, make sure my edge is clean. That looks good. Now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of powdered sugar and lightly dust the top of this so when I roll it up which is what I'm getting ready to do it won't stick to itself Okay. All right, so I've got my fondant strip rolled, and I'm going to put it on a cake board that's uh, dusted lightly with some powdered sugar. And now I'm going to stick this in the freezer for about three to five minutes. Okay. So we've just taken it out of the freezer. It's been in for about maybe five minutes. I don't like to keep it in more than five minutes because the fondant becomes too hard and it gets brittle. So three to five minutes is perfect. And now I'm ready to apply it to the side of our cake. I'm just going to use a little bit of gum glue to stick it on with. You can use water, a little bit of water, or you can even use a little bit of buttercream if you prefer. Got some gum glue all the way around to act as our adhesive. And now we're just going to Put our band on. And the nice part about it being cold is you don't have any stretching. So your band stays all the same width and it's really easy 
to put on. And then if you have to go back and move it, it's easy to do that too. Okay, I'm gonna, to finish it off, I'm gonna use my palette knife just cut so I get a pretty clean seam. There we go. I just want to check, make sure it's down. Now if I were using a color Band, a band with some color in it and I had powdered sugar all over it I would take my airbrush and a little bit of vodka and go back and just spray it lightly and that would clean that right up now we've got a little bit of a seam here and I want to cover it so what I'm going to do is take my fondant fold it once fold it again Use my gum glue. And then cover that seam. Gives it a nice finish. There you go. Occasionally we'll have to assemble the cake on site. So what we'll do is we'll take an ice pack, put it in a Ziploc bag, take our um, cold fondant bands, put them in, voila, 